Oh, what's going on guys? HK Titan here with another balloons video. And first things first, as always, I hope you guys are having an amazing day. So in today's video, we're going to be jumping into another Balloons Tower Defense 6 walkthrough slash playthrough slash guide. And it, for today's walkthrough, we're going to be playing on Park Path Impoppable Mode. So for this mode, I will have my monkey knowledge turned off and we will be using Oban as our hero because we're going to be going for the Druid strategy. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. All right. So the first thing that we're going to need to worry about is that we are starting off on round six. We have no monkey not knowledge. So even if we did have the mana shield, it doesn't work anymore since the last update. And we don't have end of the road spikes. So we need to come up with a decent strategy to hold us off until we can get our actual strategy going. So the first thing that's going to kind of help us along is we're going to be placing down a dart monkey. We kind of want to be mindful of the placement because of course we need to make sure that we leave enough room for our druids and we leave enough room for our oban. Our oban should be able to fit right here. If we can't, we'll just sell the dart monkey. It's not that big a deal. So let's go ahead and place down another dart monkey and two dart monkeys should be enough to go ahead and deal with uh, these first few rounds of balloons. Hopefully. All right, so let's go ahead and slow things down just a little bit. All right, perfect. And awesome. So we're gonna go ahead and wait until we can get by a third dart monkey here, just because we need that little bit of extra popping power. And then from that point on, we're gonna be going for a monkey sub. Of course, because the monkey sub is a great tower to have, it's extremely cheap. And as long as you have towers around the map, it can pretty much shoot anywhere on the map. All right, so let's go ahead and speed things up just a little bit. Uh, let's grab that third dart monkey, like I was saying. Uh, come over here, place him to where we can go ahead and upgrade him to long range darts, and then he should be able to pop quite a few balloons here. Alright, so we can speed things back up. We should have more than enough popping power to deal with these rounds. Uh, not Nothing too crazy going on right right now. And I would go for the, the balloon jitsu ninja alchemist combo. But because we're playing on Impoppable, it's kind of expensive. And I feel like the monkey sub is a little bit more geared towards Impoppable mode. Because we're able to afford it a lot sooner opposed to the Balloon Jitsu. Alright, so we, we need to make sure that we're paying attention to what round we're on. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves the monkey sub here. Perfect. So now we can go ahead and speed things back up. The monkey sub sh should be able to help us out with these early rounds. So uh, we're going to wait to buy longer range darts just in case we need to upgrade one of these dart monkeys here. Of course, we don't want to actually buy an upgrade and then, of course, have the upgrade not really do much. All right. So setting off pretty good. Uh, I think the first upgrade that we're going to be going with is we're going to be going with the twin guns to start with, of course, because... Uh, the monkey sub does have a pretty decent attack radius here and of course the balloons are making it a little bit further than we would like So starting off with the twin guns is going to be the right call to make here All right, so there's the twin guns now that we have the twin guns We, we can go ahead and start saving up for the longer range. We do need to keep in mind that round uh, 17 is coming rel relatively soon and we need to make sure that we have enough popping power to deal with the camo balloons as well as a way to deal with camo balloons in general all right, so perfect. The first thing that we're going to go with, I think, is we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves the enhanced eyesight. And that's just to make sure that once we upgrade our monkey sub to the advanced in intel, the monkey sub is going to be able to attack the, cam the camo balloons. All right, so perfect. Let's go ahead. Our monkey sub should be able to finish all of these guys off. And then once we are able to deal with the uh, uh, camel balloons. The next thing that we're going to have to focus on is getting something to help deal with the lead balloons, which I do have a strategy for that as well. We'll be going with the alchemist. We'll go ahead and slow things down, sell all of our dart monkeys, and of course grab the alchemist with a monkey buccaneer. All right, so there's the advanced intel. Now our monkey sub should be able to deal with all of these balloons. Of course, we already have the enhanced eyesight, so we don't need to worry about any of the balloons making it too far, especially the camo balloons. All right, so the next thing that we're going to be going for is we want to go ahead and go for the air burst starts. And that's just because, of course, we want to make sure that we have enough popping power. As of right now, our popping power is still kind of low. 
and we still have 10 rounds until we need to worry about the lead balloons so they're not really top priority at this current point in time all right so again we should be able to afford the airburst starts really quick uh we want to make sure that, that we have our strategy going before we actually start w worrying about getting up any monkey banks or stuff like that because if we try to go for the monkey banks too early then of course we're not going to have enough popping power all right so next thing that we're going to be going for we have a couple of rounds left until 28 i don't think we want to risk it and i think we're going to go ahead and grab the alchemist first just to make sure that we don't need to worry about any of the uh, balloons ma making it too far. So we're going to go ahead and grab our alchemists. Let's place our alchemists right over. Uh, I'm actually going to sell this dart monkey right here and replace it with the alchemist. Of course, because we're going to have Oban here and all of that, we want to make sure that we have uh, enough room to place down our Oban as well as our a uh, druid strategy all right so now that we have this we can go ahead we don't need to worry about the lead balloons as of right now and but we do need to go ahead and get triple guns so as soon as we get triple guns uh we're not going to have to worry about any of, of the balloons because of course the triple guns fires extremely fast and we're and like i was saying we are setting extremely good so far now we could end up selling our dart m m monkeys here and go for a monkey buccaneer, but I don't think the monkey buccaneer is necessar necessarily needed because we do have the, al the alchemist to start here. Alright, so next thing that we're going to be saving up for is we do want to get the armor piercing darts because of course the armor piercing darts is going to allow us to uh, deal with the Moab balloon on round 40. We shouldn't have to, have to worry about any other balloons because we do have the camo detection. We have the lead popping power. Uh, if we upgrade it to the acidic mixture dip, it may work out a little bit better for us. The only thing that we are lacking a little bit on is, of course, we are la lacking on the camo detection because, of course, we we can hit them through here. We can hit them through here, and then they're, once they make it past this point, then that's it. But luckily, we shouldn't have to worry about the camo too much because we don't get any massive rushes of camo balloons until the later rounds. Alright, perfect. So again, as soon as we can afford the armor piercing darts, we're going to go ahead and buy that. And then I think we're going to sell these dart monkeys and then we're going to start going for a ninja. Because of course the ninja monkey does a little bit more damage, it's a little bit more sustainable and can last a lot longer on its own opposed, opposed to the rest of these towers. But we will grab a couple more dart monkeys and place them around the map just to make sure that our uh, monkey sub has a decent uh, hit box or area of effect. So once we finish with round 36 we'll go ahead and slow things down a little bit. All right, we can go ahead and slow things down now. Uh, before we place, let's place down our ninja right here. And actually, we don't want to place our, yeah. We'll place our ninja here and we'll place our Oban up front here. All right, so now that we have the ninja, let's go ahead and give it an upgrade. Perfect. And uh, now that we have that upgrade, we can go ahead and sell these dart monkeys here. Uh, can we place a monkey buccaneer down here? No, we can't. All right, cool. No worries. So let's check out the hit radius of our... Actually, we're going to go ahead and buy acidic mixture dip. That way our ninja can go ahead and pop those lead, lead balloons. Now let's go ahead and grab ourselves a dart monkey in the back here. Upgrade it to enhanced eyesight with crossbow. And that, that will increase the area of effect that our monkey sub can actually hit. And then let's go ahead and grab this last crossbow. Now we have a decent radius in which our monkey sub can go ahead and hit all of these different balloons which is precisely what we want. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and save up to buy our Oban. Now our Oban is gonna be a little bit below level. He's not gonna get to level 11 by the time we want him, but we are gonna be placing down some banana farms. So the thing with the ban banana farms and stuff like that is that uh, we are gonna be able to spend a little, or we're, we're gonna have a little bit of extra money to work with. So since we're gonna have a little bit of extra money to work with, we, we can go ahead and spend a little bit on our Oban to make sure that we get him to level 11 before the time that we need him to be at level 11. All right, so uh, now we are gonna be spending a little bit more money on upgrading to a Balloon Jitsu. And then of course, we aren't gonna be able to afford the, uh, the actual Balloon Jitsu just yet. Uh, at the very least, we may be able to afford 
double shot, but we do have the monkey sub, which his primary job is to just make sure that he's able to deal with the Moab balloon on round 40. All right, so we may actually be able to afford the double shot here. All right, perfect. So now we have a little bit more popping power. We can go ahead and throw down our Bramble Patch uh, at the beginning of round 40. Just, just do a little bit more damage to the actual Moab balloon. And of course, we made, we made easy work of that round. Nothing too crazy. Next thing that we're, we're going to be going for is we do want to grab the Balloon Jitsu with the Berserker Brew and of course the, the Acid Pool as soon as possible. And that's just to make sure that uh, we have enough popping power. Uh, we may hold back on the uh, Stronger Stimulant and the, and the actual Berser Berserker Brew just a little bit. Just to make sure that we were able to get our monkey farms started. So first thing that we're that we're gonna do is I know I said we we were gonna place down our uh we were gonna upgrade the balloon jitsu first, but I was looking at the rounds we're at round 41. We need to start getting some sort of income going here as soon as possible. Alright, so let's go ahead and grab a second banana farm here. That way we can get a little bit of extra income going. Because, of course, we are getting a little bit later game. We need to make sure that we have that popping power. Or not popping power. We need to make sure that we have that extra income. Alright, perfect. Sitting at a pretty decent amount of money. Let's just go ahead and upgrade these to increase production. And then, of course, we're going to be go going for the, val the uh, valuable bananas and the actual monkey bank last. All right, perfect. We're generating, we are generating quite a bit of income here. Let's go ahead and upgrade both of these two valuable bananas and then speed things back up. Now we are dealing with the monkey sub. It is a really good tower. I don't think it's as good as the balloon jitsu and ninja monkey combo with the alchemist, but it's not bad. We, we could definitely do worse. All right, so let's go ahead and grab ourselves a third banana farm here. Just to get that little bit of extra in income going. Let's, let's go ahead and slow things down to make sure that we don't let any balloons through here. We shouldn't, but of course we want to make sure that we take that precaution just in case it does. It's not about uh, like us not being sure if it's going to make, make it through. It's just we want to make sure that it's going to make it through, if that makes sense. Alright, so we're going to just keep things rolling along. Our open is level 7 already. We would like him to be at level 11 before like round 80 and then of course uh, the high, the higher rounds because once we start getting our druids going and stuff like that it's going to be a necessity to have those guys leveled up. Alright so there's our first some monkey bank. Now we're going to start gener generating quite a bit of extra income here. Let's go ahead and slow things down a little bit. These, ceram these ceramic balloons are making it a little bit further than we would initially like. I think we may need to go with a... A uh, wizard monkey here that's upgraded to wall of fire with monkey sense and then of course we'll go with dragon's breath as well just to add that little bit of extra popping power because of course the balloons are making it a little bit further than we would actually like them to all right perfect excellent let's go ahead and upgrade to dragon's breath as soon as we can go ahead and afford it uh, as, like, I, like I was just saying, now that we have the banana farms and stuff like that, we shouldn't worry, have to worry too much about the extra income. And then, uh, so it's definitely a good investment to go ahead and go with the Dragon's Breath Wizard, especially since we're starting to deal with the ceramic balloons. Alright, perfect. No worries. Go ahead and slow things back down here. Uh, how much money do we have in the bank? Only 741. Yeah, we definitely need to go ahead and start getting more of these monkey banks going. We're in round 51 already and our income is not setting where where we actually want it. Now we could have saved a little bit of money by placing placing a monkey village here. But that would have delayed us getting the monkey bank by just a little bit. Not too much. It may have been worth it to go for it. But at the same time, we've already made it this, this far. So no worries. Alright, perfect. So how much money do we have in here? We have 2200. All right, so now might be the time that we want to start go going for the uh, Balloon Jitsu Ninja Monkey. Once once we get this third ban banana farm up, or this third banana or this third monkey bank up, then we'll, then we'll start going more towards our strategy. So we'll go for the uh, Balloon Jitsu. We'll go for the Druids. But at this current point in time, we just want to make sure that we have these monkey banks up to have that little bit of extra income. 
So we are on round 55 right, right now. These, these ceramic balloons are proving to be a little bit of a problem, but at the same time, we are dealing with them pretty well. Uh, I think once I upgrade to balloon jitsu and get the uh, stronger stimulant going, we shouldn't have as big of an issue as we're having right now. Alright, so there's our Balloon Jitsu, and now we can go ahead and start saving up for the uh, Berserker Brew Stronger Stimulant. And then we'll go ahead and start getting our Druids going as well. Alright, so let's go ahead and grab this Berserker Brew, and then we'll go with Faster Throwing and Acid Pool. That way we can give uh, our Ninja Monkey a little bit more of a buff. Of course, our Ninja Monkey is placed next to our Oban, so it is getting that Oban buff as well. All right, so there's our faster throwing. Now we just need to save up for a stronger stimulant. All right, perfect, perfect, perfect. How much money do we have in the bank? We're at 10,000 right, right, right now. So again, we're, we're gonna be going for the stronger stimulant first. And then while we're wait, waiting for our monkey banks to generate that extra income, we'll go ahead and place down a monkey village. Ba basically getting our strat strategy set for uh, once we can afford to buy all of our druids pretty much at the same time. So there's a stronger stimulant. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves the monkey village right here. Place it up against this wall. Uh, again, not doing too bad. Uh, I think we are actually going to go ahead and grab ourselves an ice monkey. I know it's going to be a little bit of a weird call here, but round six, round 63 is coming up next. And I am slightly worried about the ceramic balloons. So we want to make sure that we have a little bit of protection against these ceramic balloons. Then we'll go back to the monkey village. All right, perfect. Awesome, fantastic. Our monkey sub's doing a great job in dealing with those Moab balloons. Uh, just need to worry about the lead balloons. Here's round 63. Are we able to deal with the massive rush of the camel or the ceramic balloons? I think we're going to slow things down just a little bit. Grab ourselves another ice monkey. Place it next to our... Uh, wizard monkey that way we have a little bit more of a long stretch of the ice monkeys I, I know we're getting up there and we still don't have a single druid down but no worries that's what the monkey banks are for all right so the fire wizard with the ice monkeys we should be able to deal with all of the rest of these balloons all right so we were able to deal with round six round 63 with little two and no problems now that we have this, let's go ahead and grab ourselves another monkey village. Of course, this mo monkey village is going to be geared towards giving us a little bit of discounts on our upgrades because we need a way to deal with, or we need to make sure that we are able to get the best prices on all of our towers. Go ahead and throw down Oban's bush as well, just as a little bit of extra security. If you guys get a little bit of a bad placement with your... Uh, uh, bush here just feel free to place it a little bit er er earlier than I did and then eventually you're, you're going to be able to get that right placement having it right here next to the uh, nin ninja monkey is a really good place to have it all right so let's go ahead and speed things back up we need to go ahead and get a little bit more income going here uh, we're sitting with $21,000 in the bank so I think it's roughly $8,000 a piece uh, I think we may need to go ahead and collect that let's let's go ahead and collect that I uh, we have the monkey commerce on this one. Do we have monkey commerce? Not, not yet. Let's go ahead and grab bigger radius. And then let's go ahead and start placing our druids. All right, so we have one, two. All right, so it's kind of important that you get the druids as close to each other as possible because of course we need to fit six inside of this small area. So before I even start to upgrade them, I'm, I'm gonna get all six of them placed down. All right, so this last one's gonna be a little bit out of range, but no worries. Go ahead and upgrade to a pop list with the, I think we're gonna make this one here, our avatar brass. So we'll upgrade him to thorn swarm. And we'll come through and upgrade as many of them to pop list as we can possibly get. And then we'll go ahead and try and save a little bit of money left over to go ahead and grab great radar scanner as well. That way our druids can see the, uh, the, camel balloons and then now that we have three of our pop lists up we are setting in an extremely good place so what we're going to do is we are going to upgrade one of these guys to heart of thunder of course since we placed down both of the monkey uh, villages we are getting a pretty decent discount on our pop list and then of course now that we have all of this going we're doing a lot more damage 
And of course, we are going to be able to get our Oban up to level 11 well before we actually need him to get there. So that's good news for us. All right, so here's the Heart of Thunder. So now we're going to be able to do a little bit more damage to these ceramic balloons. We're going to want, want to go with uh, at least two Heart of Thunders. I'm probably going to end up going with three. And that's just to make sure that, that we're able to deal with all of the lead balloons. It makes it a little bit easier to deal with these ceramic balloons as well. And just in case they can't, we do have the three ice monkeys back here with the monkey wizard as well. All right, perfect. So let's go ahead and continue along, grab this last pop list. And in the meantime, we're gonna be waiting for our banks to gather up some more income. All right, there's another pop list. Let's go ahead and start upgrading these guys as er, this slash druid. And then we'll have all six of our druids down. I know it took us a little bit lo longer to get the druids down than we would norm than we would norm ah than we would normally do, but it's not that big a deal. The biggest thing is that we're just able to make it to to the point where we get these monkey banks, and then of course as soon as we get the monkey banks down, we just need to make sure that we basically survive until we have enough money to go ahead and afford our our druid strategy. All right, and then once we go ahead and get this last heart of thunder, we, we can go ahead, sit back, relax, and chill. Now we just need to wait until we get a little bit more income generating so we can go ahead and afford the Avatar of Wrath. So, like I was saying, I think I'm going to make this druid the Avatar of Wrath because it's going to have the biggest radius, which is going to be really good for us. And then we can also attach a stronger stimulant uh, alchemist to it as well. All right, and from this point on, we... We shouldn't struggle with any of the towers and, and stuff like that. Our our Oban is at level 12, so we know the druids are getting that buff. All of the druids are within the radius of our Oban. All right, perfect. No big deal. And dealing with these rounds with no issues. Of course, we have the small rounds of the ceramic balloons, but of course, still able to deal with them with no problem so let's go ahead and collect that twenty-one thousand. uh we do have let me see five or so six twelve eighteen eighteen plus twenty eight so we're roughly sitting at forty eight thousand which is pretty much we need, we need fifty-four thousand to get the avatar of wrath so we're gonna wait just a few more rounds before we actually sell our towers we do want to go with a a spike a perma spike at the very end as 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 well so we want to kind of wait as long as we possibly can before we actually sell our monkey banks. If we can go ahead and generate enough income before round 82, 83, then that would be ideal. But just in case we need to go ahead and do a quick Avatar of Wrath upgrade, we can go ahead and cash in our banana farms. So, or we'll slow things down, cash in our banana farms and sell them. But that's just in case we actually need to, which I don't think we are. All right, so this is why you want to have that positioning with Oban's banana tree, of course, just to deal with like round 78 with the with that massive rush of camo regrow ceramics. But so when you're just sitting here relaxing and stuff, just just, just play with Oban's tree just a little bit until you get the ideal positioning with it. Of course, I didn't get good positioning with that tree, so we're, as soon as we have the cooldown up, we're going to go ahead and activate it again. Just know that when you do use Oban's tree and stuff like that, uh, you do may make less income on the or er, during the higher rounds. All right, and then we should be able to finish these Moabs. No worries, they are kind of lower tier uh, Moabs, so they're pretty easy to deal with. Let's go ahead and drop down another... Uh, that one got even worse place than the one before that so that one should be popping here shortly go ahead and collect this money we'll sell one monkey bank and we'll go ahead and upgrade to the avatar brass now we should be able to deal with the rest of these balloons with no issues next thing that we do want to do is we do want to grab the monkey intelligence bureau as soon as possible that way the Oban can go ahead or er, yeah the avatar brass can go ahead and pop the frozen balloons and he can also pop lead balloons as well and now the only thing that we're going to be saving up for now is we are going to be saving up a little bit of money to go ahead and place a perma spike at the very back here. Of course, this is just a precaution just in case the balloons make it too far. We shouldn't need to worry about placing down any more trees. 
the main reason why we need the Monkey Intelligence Bureau, of course, is to make sure that our Avatar of Wrath can pop the DDTs that are coming on round 90. Uh, because without the MIB, the, uh, the Avatar of Wrath would not be able to pop the DDTs. Let's just go ahead and upgrade to Deadly Spikes. So we do have $2,000 right here. We're sitting with $2,000 in the banks. And then, of course, we have 12000 worth of banks that we can sell at any given point in time, just in case we need to. All right, perfect. So now that we have the Avatar of Wrath, of course, the, av the Avatar of Wrath should shred all the way up until, like, round 95. And so we have quite a few rounds in, in order to go ahead and upgrade our spike factory to permanent spikes. All right, so it looks like I leveled up as well. I gained an extra monkey knowledge point. And then once we get the per the permanent spikes up, then it's pretty much GG. You've beaten in poppable mode. So once you get the permanent spikes up, whatever tower you want you want on a place, feel free to place down. There really is no restrictions. No nothing's going to really give you a a advantage here because of course any balloons that do slip through are going to be destroyed by the permanent spikes so uh we are sitting with eight thousand i think or because i have my monkey knowledge turned off i think it caps out at eight thousand per bank if i'm not mistaken i think it's eight thousand it might be uh, ten but we're just going to go ahead and cash in at 16 and then once we have of that we should be able to finish off all of the rest of these balloons all right so let's go ahead and slow things down a little bit here the DDTs are giving us a little bit of an issue. Let's go ahead and sell that last monkey bank by permanent spikes. And now it's pretty much GG. Uh, I, I suppose the next thing that we, we can go for is we can go ahead and continue along with the wizard monkeys here. No, actually, let's 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 go with a uh, alchemist. I think the al the al alchemist would be a little bit better call to buff the avatar of wrath. And I pretty much just spam down the uh, alchemist from this point on, and that way we can pretty much guarantee that all of these uh, druids are getting buffed as well as the rest of our towers as as well. All right, so as soon as we can afford this another stronger stimulant, let's go ahead and buy that. Uh, we are on round 94, so we're doing again. We're doing extremely well. Uh, we really haven't had too many issues so so far. I think the biggest issue we had was on round 78. The camo ceramic regrow balloons made it a little bit further than I initially wanted, but in the end, we were still able to deal with them. All right, so we can actually go ahead and sell our banana, banana farm now. We no longer need it. Uh, let me see. Uh, the last balloon or the last tower that we'll go ahead and place, we'll place ourselves down a wizard monkey in, in the back here and upgrade him all the way to the arcane spike as soon as we can afford it with monkey sense of course just because the arcane spike wizard monkey does a little bit more damage to moab class balloons all right guys so we have just a few rounds left 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 here and of course if you guys can tell we're doing extremely well we really aren't struggling at all from from this from this point on Again, the biggest problem that, that we had was, of course, round 78 with the camo regrow balloons. So to kind of re to kind of recap and, and, and stuff like that on round or on the rounds before round 78, just mess around with Oban's tree just a little, just a little, ah, just a little bit until you you can go ahead and get this placement right here to go ahead and make sure that you're able to deal with the. Uh, round 78. Alright guys, and of course we were able to deal with the bad balloon with no issues. We just need to deal with the last few ceramic balloons from the Zoma Gods. And then of course that is how you be Park Path on Impoppable Mode. So if you guys were struggle, struggle, struggling with the map and, so, and stuff like that, this is a strategy that is extremely up, up, up to date. So of course, uh, I know this strategy works. But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. If you enjoyed, please feel free to hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please feel free to subscribe as well. We are at 707 subscribers right now. So a massive thank, thank you, guys. But, but anyways, guys, uh, I hope you guys have the most amazing day of your lives. And of course, as always, I will see you guys in the next one.